All right, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining. I'm Dan Powers, Executive Director of the Society for Science at User Research Facilities. And we are excited this afternoon to be able to welcome four new SURF board members. Uh, I'm also waiting to see if our current board chair, Jason Benedict, may be joining us. I'll give him the floor if he joins in. But for right now, uh, welcome all of you. I've gotten to know you through different conversations over the last few years. Uh, Vonda and I actually have known each other for several years as she's in Colorado and I am myself. But I want to let our audience know that the election that completed up just last week was uh, robustly engaged and also involved numerous nominees and we hope that others who weren't successful in the election continue their involvement with some volunteer committees. But for right now, then we want to focus back on our four winning candidates. And I would like to give each of them a few minutes to be able to describe how they've been involved in SURF or what brought them to want to be more involved in SURF. I do see that our board chair, Jason Benedict, has joined us. Welcome, Jason. And yeah, let me read off. Thank you the four new board members and their titles, where they're coming from or what their background is. And then Jason, I'll let you jump on the microphone for a moment as well to give them a welcome. And then I'd like to go through in this order, I'll describe who they all are and then we'll go back in order that way and let each of them describe a bit more of how they have been involved with SURF and what they would like to see SURF continue to evolve into. Uh, first, we have uh, where are we at here with uh, Brad Locusts. He is the user program director and researcher at the Center for Nanophase Material Sciences at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Vonda Grubiskis, excuse me, Grubisic, is the director of the Earth Observing Laboratory at the National Center for Atmospheric Research. Kevin Fournier is the user office director at the National Ignition Facility. And Shauna Sadler, some of you may have seen her earlier today on a session, is the is in charge of global outreach and partnerships at ORCID. So welcome you all. Uh, I wish there was a larger room and you could actually hear some applause and uh, see people standing and giving you a thumbs up. But uh, know that we're giving you the digital version of this. So Jason, how about I let you uh, you come off a mute here and say a couple words, and then we'll go back through to Brad, then Vonda, then Kevin, then Shauna. Yeah, I don't have much to add, just to say, welcome everybody. It's a few of you I've spoken with, a few of you I can't wait to uh, meet uh, more in depth at, at some of the up upcoming board meetings. Uh, the board of directors is so uh, such an important position for steering the direction of uh, SURF and, and making sure that, um, you know, we're, we're doing a good job serving our members and, and we're the, the best organization that we can be. So anyway, welcome aboard. It's a real, real pleasure to have you here. Look forward to working with you. And I look forward to hearing a little, about, a little bit about each of you uh, right now. All right. Well, Brad, take a you know a few minutes and tell us what uh, part of the steering wheel do you want to grab for surf and where do you want to turn it? Sure. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you, Dan. Thank you, Jason. Uh, congratulations to the the other new new members. Uh, I am really excited to get more involved in surf and and helping to, uh, I guess as you as you mentioned, steer our, our guide uh, SERP in, in, in the future so that it uh, better serves um, its member institutions and, and the members at large um, of SURF. Um, I got involved with SURF roughly, I would say about four years ago um, at the annual meeting in, in DC. And we also had a uh, science fair um, for some of the congressional staffers. And I really got to see firsthand uh, how SURF can play a role in educating and informing people about science at the user facilities. And on a personal level, we have been uh, working at a nanoscience center in the user office. We have been uh, keeping in touch periodically with the other user uh, director or user program managers at the other nanoscience facilities 
and I've seen how uh, important and beneficial it is to, just to share best practices and information um, with each other um, in the nanoscience world. And then looking at SURF as a whole, it's, it's so much bigger, all the other user facilities and that people just aren't aware of the different user facilities and the science that, that's going on at those. Um, and you also learn that it's not just DOE, you know, you have the other uh, areas um, of, of the government do, running these user facilities and everybody has a slightly different mission and a slightly different way that they operate and how important it is to get everybody kind of under the same uh, not necessarily under the same umbrella, but sharing this information with each other and these best practices so that we can learn from each other and improve each of our own institutions. So as a whole, the user facility uh, environment is uh, better able to serve um, users, which is, which is the ultimate goal. And so I really just want to uh, jump in and get involved and, and, and work in that area, trying to unite the, uh, the user facilities and encourage them to continue to work together and, and carry out the mission to serve. Wonderful. Thank you. And I know you've been involved with SURF as you described and helping with different volunteer committees. And I look forward to you being now in the board role and in some ways, uh, honestly, being a little bit more of um, well, joining Jason and being joining everyone on the screen right now and, and being my boss and saying, <laughs> so are uh, you working on this this week, Dan? And, and uh, we're all in alignment. So thanks. Let me make a mention too that born of some other feedback, I'm going to uh, only need about five minutes for the, the next session uh, regarding our website. So we can talk a little bit longer right now. Um, all right, so with that, Vonda, let's turn to you. Thank you. Um, good day, good afternoon. I'm looking at, the, at my uh, clock here um, and trying to figure out in what different time zones people might be. Um, so there is a good morning, I believe, still uh, on, the, on the Pacific time zone. <laughs> Technically, it is still morning. So um, good day to all of you, a universal greeting. It's uh, really a pleasure and an honor uh, to be elected to become a, a member of the board of directors of, of SURF uh, for me. Um, I am probably a new name to many of you. I come from the uh, NSF's National Science Foundation's FFRDC, uh, which is in, in National Science Foundation's view is a large facility. Um, and we, um, I manage and operate the laboratory that I direct manages and operates lower atmosphere observing facilities, NSF's facilities, um, which are a multi-user facility. And so with this, I am really stepping out and expanding my interest in many issues uh, that are common to large facilities. So beyond the NSF world, we have large facility workshops, which are annual events where much of the information is exchanged between the large facilities. I'm looking to expand this into the uh, SURF domain, which covers many more facilities, many from the DOE world. Um, and um, to, for the cross-pollination of ideas and sharing of best practices. Um, we have a number of common issues, a uh, number of, of things that we are trying to address, position ourselves in terms of funding, in terms of following the metrics on our use and arguing for our case uh, that the funding continues uh, for the large facilities. And in these days of data and <laughs> big data, we also need to be conscious of collecting the data on our usage and put that data to the best, best use. So this is just one of the many topics that are of interest to me. Um, and, and I am looking to work with others on, on the board and with SURF at large um, to, to position the multi-user facilities the best um, in this, ex what is actually an exciting funding climate right now. Um, uh, with that, I am really thrilled to be uh, here with you and look forward to serving you well, all of you members of SERP. Thank you, Vanda. Definitely uh, looking forward to your insights and ideas that you bring to our strategic discussions. 
With okay, pleasure. Kevin, over to you. All right. I'm going to uh, echo Vonda to begin with by saying it's, it's both a pleasure and an, and an honor to be um, elected by the user uh, research facility community to, to serve on the board. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to the tenure ahead of me on the board to, to get engaged. So I, I'm at the National Ignition Facility. We are a National Nuclear Security Administration lab, which is part of DOE, but separate from the DOE Office of Science. And um, I have to give a uh, shout out to, to my colleague, Sam Moores yesterday, who said very um, laudatory things about the NIF while talking about um, his facility, the Omega Laser Facility. And in particular, um, Sam, Sam highlighted uh, you know, the recent result we had that was sort of the culmination of um, 60 years worth of research and incremental progress towards um, ignition in the laboratory. And, and that is the sort of 900 pound gorilla in, in my room that I have to deal with um, because it, it's, the, it's, an, it's the priority for NNSA and these are big experiments when we do have high yield shots. I have 10% of my facility time that's available to academics, uh, academic researchers from anywhere in the world. And, and I want to make that time as available and productive to them as possible. So what I'm hoping to get from my engagement with the SURF board of directors is um, a sense of the best practices for uh, you know, the comp competitive proposal process for my academic users who, who aren't program and mission driven necessarily. I, I'd like to get uh, a better facility with the language, how to frame research priorities away from programmatic research that's you know, directly impactful to a deliverable for the government at some point. And, and really um, just immerse the, myself in, 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 in the user research facility community because the National Ignition Facility is truly unique in the world in terms of the regimes it accesses for, for energy and, and uh, some of the precision on, on, on our abilities to, to create conditions and targets. And that's a resource that um, the, the nation has committed to at least at the 10% level sharing with the world. And so, you know, the way I can make that the most productive and effective way I can is by learning best practices from my colleagues on the board of directors. So. Very exciting. Okay. Thanks, Kevin. Um, I, I think you bring our perspective and a set of, uh, of requests or type of programming that SURF can be growing uh, more into. That is a newer voice, perhaps uh, at least within the last year or so that I've been involved and I look forward to being a source to help bring that forward. Well, if, if I might just add, add one thing, I, 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 I think it's a unique challenge I face, which is my outside users aren't funded programmatically and have to get their own funding. So right now there is no vehicle I have to support the users who bring the most creative and the most um, challenging and exciting experiments to my facility. And so, you know, uh, again, Vonda referenced the, these interesting times for funding the funding climate. And, and I just want to, again, echo that, that uh, I have to find a way to really leverage the growing um, connections between different facilities to, to find a way to support users. All right. Um, I look forward to this. This is a good strategic goal for us to be working on. And now, Shauna. Next door, so if you hear banging, I apologize. Um, but first, Ed, to echo my fellow uh, members, just it's an honor to serve, and I really appreciate all the support and votes for uh, for my participation on the board. And I'm really excited to join the board and and the discussions to help steer serve forward. Um, so I'm with Orchid, but I'm more broadly with the persistent identifier community, uh, international community. Um, and so when I saw that SURF had the strategic priority of adopting fair data principles, I thought, oh, you know what, there's, a, there's an opportunity for me to help participate really actively in this group. And, you know, I've been working closely with the, um, the U.S. government ORCID consortium and some of the other uh, government labs and just 
I've been able to be part of the exciting work that they're doing. It's really cutting edge work and adopting, you know, moving, weaving in the persistent identifiers to their workflows. Um, and really it's, it's being mimicked around the world and it's just so inspiring and energizing. So um, they're really the goals that I wanna help all of you is, is really to, you know, concisely is reduce the administrative burden on both the researchers and also your staff. Um, so really we want to help structure the data so that you can do impact analysis uh, really effectively for what's happening. And, you know, persistent identifiers uh, really provide that, help provide that framework so you can do that work really effectively. Uh, so it's, it's a wild new world and, uh, you know, the amount of data that you're all producing, can you imagine trying to quantify that? Um, and so if we can give it some structure. You know, I think that'll really help and also measuring and then sharing internationally as well. Um, and then, you know, as Dan mentioned, my my role is international and I'm working with groups around the world, different research groups around the world. So if I can help in that way with the international connections, I'm happy to do so as well. Thanks for having me. All right. Thanks, Shauna. And thank you all for taking uh, just a few minutes right now to introduce yourselves and we look forward to you being on a few more zoom meetings um yes uh, realistically with the rest of the board during our monthly meetings and additional conversations and workshops will line up for the board to have these strategic discussions we will be meeting in person i'm going to say in 2022 we'll definitely make it happen in some kind of venue and as your different facilities open up or create the kind of access protocols for visitors. We'll look forward to bringing in the kind of stakeholders, fellow user facility leaders, the other technologists and professionals like Chandra who are looking to partner and support what's going on in user facilities. And then of course, get back to the capital and have the kind of events with our elected officials that are truly a core part of SURF's mission to make sure that those elected officials are aware of the value and the latest discoveries, the latest activities, and some of the latest challenges that the facilities are facing. Um, Jason, any other last word? Just, uh, you know, uh, thank you so much for introducing yourselves to SURF, to the, to the community, for stepping up to serve. Um, you, the four of you are just bringing so much energy and, uh, you know, you all have such unique perspectives and experiences. I'm really looking forward to having you on the board and um, working with you over, uh, <laughs> you know, for the foreseeable future. It's going to be, uh, we're going to have a good time and, and SURF's going to be stronger because the four of you uh, stepped up and, and are, are going to be joining the team. So thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you all. You can all, in essence, step off the stage here. I'm just going to share my screen for a quick reference to the SURF website and a workshop that we're going to do in December for particularly the communications staff at user facilities who might look to engage with the, uh, some of the, the new attributes that the new website will allow for sharing information, getting into conversations, having job boards and bulletin boards, things of that nature.